what is going on everybody it is big l here and today i'm bringing a duel that i played yesterday um this shows like, like the deck i'm playing isn't that strong it's a dark magician deck it's not that like i said it's not that strong i'm gonna turn my volume down in my ears because it's really loud um and i'll go over it really quick just to show you what i'm working with here uh, this is the deck. I've got Dark Magician, Magician Souls, two Max C, Magician's Rod, three Ash Blossoms. I got. I should probably just cut down to one of these. I only need one. Uh, I got Catapult Turtle, Gaia Origin, Dark Magician Girl. I need to get rid of this card too. I think. Um, I got two Apprentice Illusions, uh, Buster Blader, Gaia, Gaia the Fierce Knight, Mahad. Uh, Soldier Gaia, and then uh, Raigeki, Harpy's Feather Duster, Polly, uh, Monster Reborn, Thousand Knives, Dark Magic Attack, Eye of Tamias, Bomb Between Teacher and Student, Spiral Fusion, which I probably should get rid of this card just to add another regular follow conversation, but whatever. But this one, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> Magician Salvation, Dark Magical Circle, Dark Burning Magic, Soul Servant, Secret to Dark Magic, Two Magician Navigation. One Skill Drain. I should probably add more Skill Drains, honestly. I have three. It's, it's such a really good card. Two Eternal Souls and Magician's Combination. My extra deck doesn't really come into play in this duel, so I'm not going to really go over it, but this is what, this is what I'm currently using. Um, but, yeah. Yeah. That's, what, that's, that's the deck we're using. So, like I said, it's, it's not the strongest deck by any means um as you can see we did hit gold five which is really really cool um but it's, it's only a seven turn duel like you said uh, I, I played it yesterday um it's a pretty it's a pretty interesting duel it just shows that if this deck gets going we have a couple combinations that can be really really tough and let me know if you like this video or not um master duel is kind of what i've been playing lately um i'm getting i'm learning a lot i'm getting i think i'm getting better i think i'm getting better at the game um and i'm currently building another deck which is a more meta deck um but i have the sound in game turned off let me pause the recording uh, and we'll get into the duel so we'll see you in a second all right we are loading up the duel um, I mean, I don't know how much I'll be able to commentate just because I'm still learning things in this game. Uh, so, but as you can see, <clears throat> we have our hand. It's not a, not a terrible starting hand for us. We have a Magician Souls and a Dark Magician in hand with a Secret to Dark Magic, which is really, really nice. And we can see here he's playing a Synchro or a Tuner deck, which has a lot of interesting effects. So he's going to be doing a lot of summoning. that's what tuner decks do and he's giving himself extra life points which i'm already thinking to myself at this point oh boy this is gonna be a fun game <clears throat> and if you're watching Yu-Gi-Oh for the first time and your first time hearing hearing this music yeah the music fucking slaps so he's he's still going on about his business um just out here summoning super strong monster after super strong monster. He gets one of his boss monsters out turn one. So that's that's fantastic for us. But you know, I'm just sitting here thinking to myself, you know, I got a pretty good, pretty good hand here. Uh, I could potentially put myself in a decent situation. And he's just so that, that was his first turn. He's got he's got stuff that's stronger than my ace monster, but I've got things I can do. And Magician Navigation isn't a bad card, uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and set that. So first turn I'm able to get our magician out, which is really nice. And so I go to use my secret to dark magic. I was going to summon a dark magicians here. But this lets me put this lets me put my uh you'll, you'll see. <laughs> what I what I did here was like I was like, okay, so since he's gonna block my fusion, uh what I'd like to do since I have another dark magician in my hand. <clears throat> is get my uh, get my magician salvation out because what 
what Soul Servant lets me do is I can place one card on top of my deck from my hand deck or graveyard that specifically lists Dark Magician in the title, which Magician Salvation lets me do. Magician Salvation lets me set an Eternal Soul directly from my deck onto the field. So I figured, you know, if he's gonna stop, um, if he's gonna stop me from getting my Dark Magicians out. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get myself an Eternal Soul since I have another Dark Magician in my hand. And this will help me defend myself against these monsters. And like I'm, I'm, I'm essentially playing for time at this point. Just trying to wait for an opportunity. So Eternal Soul, if you don't know what it does, <clears throat> my, my Dark Magician is unaffected by card effects. And, uh, and once, and once I, well, I can activate it once per turn, and I can summon a Dark Magician from my hand or graveyard, which I have a Dark Magician in my hand. And I can add one Dark Magic Attack or Thousand Knives from my deck to my hand. So once per turn, I can add a Dark Magician to the field to help defend myself. And that's why, and I already had one on the on the field um, with an extra one in my hand. So I was like, okay, so during his turn, I can summon this Dark Magician uh, to the field in defense, but just, just to help myself, just to help defend myself. So he goes on, he's gonna go about do his do his tuner business. And this lets me special summon, so I don't have to activate this yet. And so yeah. I was gonna activate her effect. This lets me add a Dark Magician from my deck to my hand. And because what, what I want to do, what I wanted to do with my Eternal Souls is I wanted to get all my Dark Magicians in play. I have three Dark Magicians in my in my deck. Uh, most Dark Magician decks only run two. I have three. Um, but the whole idea is try to get my Dark Magicians in play. That way Eternal Soul can be used. And <clears throat> if I have an opportunity, because uh, Curse of Dragonfire can be used as a... You know, I can... <clears throat> I can use, yeah. You know, I can. I don't have to use polymer uh, polymerization to use fusion with it. So I can use my curse of dragon fire with a dark magician to special summon uh, where is that? my dark magician dragon knight, which also counts as a dark magician. I can use eternal soul to bring back a dark magician dragon knight from my graveyard, which is fantastic. An eternal soul plus dark magician dragon knight are fantastic together. Dark magician dragon knight of uh, stops my I'll show you here. <clears throat> Your opponent cannot target spells or traps that I control. So, Eternal Soul, the drawback to Eternal Soul is if it leaves the field, every every card you control, every monster you control gets left, gets, gets wiped. So, Eternal Soul protects my monsters. Dark Magician Dragon Knight protects my back row. So, that's why I was really hoping I could maybe use Curse of Dragonfire to get my Dark Magician Dragon Knight out. But anyway. But he stops that. He stops my apprentice illusion from getting my third dark magician. He's gonna go about his business, do all his do all his tuner stuff here. I don't really know what all this deck does, but it's a it's a it's a pain in the ass deck, honestly. He gets his red deck on Arfine, which is another He's playing a synchro. So, so we, we do this dance for a little while. I'm defending myself. I know that now that we're in the end phase, I can use my Eternal Soul, bring back a Dark Magician. And I don't know why he chose to cancel my Magician's Salvation instead of my Eternal Soul. I don't, I don't get that, but it is what it is. So here I use my Magician's Rod. Because he he chained to that, he stopped me from using it. But what I can do is I activate my Magician's Rod. Uh, Magician's Rod lets me get one, one card from my hand, from my deck that has my Dark Magician in it. I go for my Dark Magical Circle because I want to be able to see the next three cards. And if I get like a, another Soul Servant, I mean Eternal Soul, I can uh, get it immediately in my hand. So I play my Dark Magical Circle, and what Dark Magical Circle lets me do is, if a Dark Magician is summoned this turn, <clears throat> I can target one card and banish it, which is fantastic. So it's, again, I have, I have a good combination here set up, Eternal Soul, Dark Magical Circle. 
And I did have Eternal Soul in my next three cards. So I have Eternal Soul. So I have it face down. So now I have two Eternal Souls and two Dark Magicians in the graveyard. So he's going about doing his tuner business. I figure I'll just go ahead, activate my Eternal Soul, make him go ahead and use that. That's fine. And so he's already used his ability. But he negated it, which is fine. And now he's got his big boss monster out. I'm like, okay, I need to, I need to defend myself more. Alright, so what I did here is I was saving my Magician Navigation. He tried to call to the Haunted, uh, me bringing back my Dark Magician. Um, <clears throat> so basically it, just, it stops me, it just banishes my Dark Magician from play. But what I did is Magician Navigation, I can banish it from play if it's in my graveyard to stop the activation of a Spell Trap card that my opponent controls. So essentially he went for Call to the Haunted, I, de I negated it essentially, which is what happened there. Um, things kind of go, I wish they had a way to slow the duel down whenever you're doing replays. So he goes to crash into me. I'm not looking super strong right now, but I have a good combo here. I have a really, really strong combination here of two eternal souls, which means twice per turn, I can bring him, I can bring my dark magicians back from the graveyard and he, he can only, uh, negate one of my effects from happening per turn, which is fantastic. So I'm having three effects happen per turn. Which is fantastic. So, I'm playing a very defensive game at this point in time. And here, I draw the bane of his existence, Skill Drain. I pay 1,000 life points, and all of his monster's effects are negated, which is fantastic. So, I'm like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and activate my Eternal Soul. He, he stops my Dark Magical Circle. I get my Dark Magician out. And then I wait for my skill drain. Okay. <clears throat> I activate skill drain. And now I am free to use... I don't have to worry about him negating me anymore. And I can get my Dark Magicians out. I can, I can banish stuff. Fantastic. That negate does nothing. Because... You can still activate effects, but they just don't do anything. So here comes Dark Magician. I activate Dark Mag Magical Circle. That thing is a bye-bye. And it's banished. You don't just send the card to the graveyard. You banish your card. So I think he sees the... He's, he starts to get to the point where he's maybe seeing the writing on the walls. Then I think he's going to have a hard time breaking this. He summons his big boss monster and he can't activate his effect so we just get the win um it's really really cool what this deck can do to get going like this this deck was really strong we were playing against um and i i don't know if he just thought he couldn't win from here but i thought i, I just don't think he had anything to target back row because without without dark magician dragon knight i don't have a way to protect back row without skill drain I mean, and skill drain I mean, helps, but you could still use, you know, cards to destroy back row. But I don't know if he just didn't wasn't playing any. I don't know if they were just, um, or is it maybe they were just really impatient and just didn't want to deal with me stalling the game out? Because I could have just, you know, try. I, I could have kept going doing that forever, essentially. Um, and I'm stopping their skills, and I'm banishing one card of theirs per turn. Um, so, yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, if you know Yu-Gi-Oh! a little bit, was there anything in that duel I could have done differently? Uh, would I still have lost that duel if they would have kept playing? Um, I think there's a good chance I still could have. Um, but I think it's, I think it just goes to show, like, this is why you don't quit. Like, you don't you don't give up whenever you're playing. Whenever you know your deck a little bit better, you, you know what it can do. 
Um, <clears throat> and if you have outs, you know, you play to those outs. It's just like Pokemon, really. If you have an out, you play to it. Um, and I saw my out. I was like, you know what? Once I got skill drain, I knew I was going to have a chance. Like, I was like, you know, I got, I got my two uh, soul servants. So I knew I was going to be bringing Dark Magicians back every single turn. Um, and once skill drain showed up, I, I was like, you know, maybe I, maybe I have a chance to pull this back and actually win. Um, so let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, if you know Yu-Gi-Oh, let me know if you think, you know, <clears throat> would it, could I have still, would it, was it still looking like I was going to lose that duel? They just didn't really want to deal with me or did I play that well? And did I, did, did I give myself a good chance to win? And did I earn that win? I feel like I earned it, but I'm still pretty new to Yu-Gi-Oh. Despite my, my fancy gold ranking there, which doesn't really mean shit, but, uh, th but again, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, this ran about, about as long as I thought it would. I'm still trying to get better at, you know, narrating these kind of duels. Let me know if you, let me know if you uh, want to watch more. Um, I'll start saving more, more replays other than just replays that I find interesting. Um, but yeah, that'll do it for me today. Thank you guys very much for watching and have a good one. Peace out.